Hi, my name is Erica Cooley, and I am a graduate student at the University of South Florida, earning my master's degree in library and information science. This summer, I worked at the National Audiovisual Conservation Center on the Universal Music Group Lacquer Processing Project. This project involves metadata creation for 16-inch lacquer discs, which are master music recordings from sessions for notable musicians such as Bing Crosby and Tommy Dorsey. These recordings date back to the 40s and 50s and contain some of the earliest interpretations of standards from the Great American Songbook, a collection of popular tunes from the 20th century that were recorded and released by many different artists. The 16-inch lacquer on the left is from the Universal Music Group collection and contains a version of All the Things You Are, recorded by Helen Forrest in 1944. These lacquer discs were used to produce 78 RPM discs. 78s utilized a larger groove, which resulted in shorter playing time per slide usually about three to five minutes. Due to these limitations, this version of All the Things You Are is actually much shorter than the original composition. The 10-inch shellac disc on the right contains a recording of Bird of Paradise by Charlie Parker, a contrafact of All the Things You Are, meaning that Parker uses the same chord progression but without the melody, circumventing copyright and publisher fees as melodies can be copyrighted but the underlying harmonic structure cannot be. The original score is in the music division as part of the Jerome Kern collection, a composer of many popular show tunes. All the Things You Are was written and released in 1939 as part of the musical Very Warm for May and would go on to feature on the top charts for radios in the same year. However, due to the playback limitations of 78s, the tune that would be played on the radios was less than half of the original composition. As 78s can only contain about three to five, mu three to five minutes of music on each side, Tommy Dorsey's version would only record the last 32 bars of the song, written in Kern's score as the cantable. This would standardize the format for future versions, such as Helen Forrest, and later on, Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie. In 1948, Columbia introduced a long playing record, or LP, which was made of vinyl and contained micro grooves, and required a thin tip stylus to play at a speed of 33 and a third RPM resulting in a playtime of about 22 minutes per side. Vinyl range in size, with most being 10 inches and 12 inches. Artists would begin to put more music on a single disc. Instead of one song per side, this LP of Groove and High contains six tunes just on side A, with 13 tracks in total. This disc contains all the things you are, as performed by Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie, a version that would become synonymous with the bebop era in jazz. Recorded in multiple sessions in 1945 and released in 1955, each song is about three, to three minutes long. Longer playing times meant that albums could be released, and eventually musicians saw the potential for creating albums with coherent themes as well as compositions with longer improvisations and arrangement. Consumers would begin to see conceptual albums such as Dave Brubeck's Dave Diggs Disney, which was released in 1957. Albums as thematic works of art would really explode in the 60s with the Beatles and continues today. This project explores the larger context of sound recording technology and its impact on song releases, album releases, and ultimately music genres. It also serves to connect people to the library's resources on the American genre of jazz. As someone with a particular interest in audio preservation, this fellowship has given me the opportunity to dive into NAVCC's extensive and fascinating collections and better understand how certain musical forms came to be. Thank you to the Junior Fellow Program, my mentor Patrick Midling, the staff at NAVCC, and my Junior Fellow counterpart Hannah Whitaker for fostering such a welcoming and supportive environment. Thank you for being here.